want to give you a quick example of just an insane use of a graph. And 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 uh, this is this is a this is a, of all places this is from the Financial Times. So this is not some conspiracy theory manipulative trying to have some kind of agenda anti-vax whatever thing, right? Um, where you'd expect that. And 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 the thing is that what I'm going to show you now is something that you see all the time when people show you graphic information or you show you statistics. They're trying to manipulate you. They're lying to you. It's it, not, not really lying. They're just manipulating you by not, by, because you have to now focus to get what's really going on. And um, this is everywhere. And I'm showing you this primarily just as a warning to be aware of, 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 of quickly glancing at a graph and thinking you know what it says and what it means without looking carefully at what's actually you're being told, what actually is going on, all right? So here's a graph. And, and by the way, this graph relates to the whole, is do, the dollar declining as a, as a, as a foreign exchange? Uh, so this is a uh, foreign exchange reserves uh, in the world in a denominated U.S. dollars. And the graph shows two currencies, the U.S. dollar and the remedy, which is the, whoops, sorry, that's it. The remedy, which is the, the Chinese currency, right? Ren Mim B. I, I like to call it the yuan, but uh, Ren Min B. Ren Min B, something like that. All right. So you can see here, and what this graph, you look at the graph and you see the dollar, the light blue graph, is coming down, right? It used to be at above 70%, and now it's around 60%. So, yeah, clearly dollar reserves are going down, they're going down slowly. And then you look at the renminbi, and whoa, look how fast they're going up. It looks like they, they were like basically zero in 2016. And since then, they're going way up to, I don't know, 50, 55%, right? And you're going, wait a minute, first of all, 50, 55% plus 60% is more than 100%. So something's wrong. And then, and then you're going, but just look at, the, look at the shape of the graph. I mean, obviously... The U.S. dollar is losing dramatically to a minbi. Yes, I, I'm buying into the whole idea that the dollar is not going to be the foreign exchange, uh, you know, foreign currency reserve anymore. Because look at the Chinese currency. The BRICS have something going for them. What's the problem? Well, the problem is you've got two scales here. The scale on the left is for the dollar. That's the... 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. And it says US dollar in white, blue. And then the dark blue, the scale is on the right. One, two, three, four, seven. The NB has gone from 1% for under, from 1% to 2.5%. Literally from 1% to 2.5%. That's it. That's the threat. And look at the title. The dollar is dominant in FX reserves, but its lead is starting to slip. Really? This doesn't show that. Over what? Because the NIMBY went from 1% to 2.5%? That's a joke. That's ridiculous. And this is the Financial Times. Right? This is the Financial Times reporting this. Now, this is the real graph. At the top, you see the dollar. That's the blue graph. You can see it's gone from about 70%, about 60%. The red is the euro. It's gone from about just under 20% to just above 20%. So it's increased a little bit over time. The yellow here that you can barely see is the yen, right? The, 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 the blue down here is the British pound. And then the green is other, and that will include the renminbi. And you can see, yeah, it's increasing. It's gone from like 2% to 10%, 9% maybe. Look at the differences. I mean, the renminbi is insignificant as a reserve currency. Completely insignificant. Why you would ever show a graph like this is mind-boggling. It's stupid. It's stupid. And it's manipulative. And most people, most people get caught. And most people buy into it. And most people are easily manipulated 
And this is partially why some people become anti-vaxxers and uh, conspiracy theorists and stupid economics and all of this because people show them these kind of graphs and they, they can't bother to actually look and actually use their brain even for a second. Now, Financial Times, I read the Financial Times. It's definitely one of the better newspapers in the world today. But this is what you get from one of the better newspapers in the world today. And on some issues, Financial Times is unmatched in terms of coverage. But you really have to read carefully so that they're not conning you. And it's not like the Financial Times has an agenda. It's not like the Financial Times is anti-dollar in some way. All right. Um, I, I, think, I think they probably did do it innocently. I just think, you know, they, they're unthinking. They're ignorant. They're stupid, right? Financial Times doesn't have an, an agenda to promote the yuan against the dollar. There's no agenda at the Financial Times around that. There's no, and it's not trying to do that to the people who read the Financial Times who are relatively sophisticated in their own minds. So it's just, it's just silly, right? Just silly. It's just somebody not thinking and everybody not thinking when looking at that graph. It's just a bunch of non-thinking people patting each other on, I don't know, whatever. Not, maybe on the back, maybe on the backside, I don't know.